Welcome! You're watching the Thrift Store Rundown, where we bring Hollywood home on a budget. I'm so everybody, and their grandmother, and their great-grandmother, and their great-great-grandmother, remembers that famous painting called The Last Supper. You know, with Mr. J.C. and his holy posse. Well, here at TSR, we're about to have The Last Soiree, for now, for the Romero Roundup with Miss KJ of Styling My Every Day. That would be Katie Jacobs. She is a lifestyle blogger. I will not call her an influencer because as far as I'm concerned, influencers on the internet of today are ones who flaunt rather than instruct. And as far as I'm concerned, that term and that meaning together should go to hell. And I'm talking that term and that meaning, not the influencers themselves, unless they're especially outrageous. No, lifestyle bloggers are those who rather instruct than flaunt, like Katie Jacobs. And even though I haven't visited her website, I gotta say, her girl next door, Tom with Persona and Practicality, is actually on display in between two hardcovers here, just as it is on her website. She's also one of the stylists for Reese Witherspoon's Draper James lifestyle brand. So, uh, Six Degrees of Separation, haven't really talked about Reese Witherspoon in ever. I guess I make it not that easy for you, right? <laughs> Regardless, so much to celebrate offers fun party ideas for all four seasons with many themes. All of which to entertain the ones you love the whole year through. This was picked up for $3.99. It is a Thomas Nelson publication, keeping it down home, and this is Katie celebrating so much to celebrate. Here's a toast to my new book, So Much to Celebrate. But more importantly, here's a toast to my friends, family, and fans that inspired it. I have so much to be thankful for. There's so much to celebrate. Cheers. Because we are smack dab in fall, we're going to highlight a fall party for you. Fall is my favorite season of them all. Blue jeans, boots, football, red wine, and charcuterie platters exploding with meat and cheese. What's not to love? Oh, and by the way, don't think that this uh, down-to-earth, kind of semi girly girl is into all things pink and frilly. She has an honored tailgate party for the guys out there, and the gals who love football as much as the guys. So, automatically, I think you are bound to have a crust on Katie Jacobs. Ah oh, well, this is more of a cookbook than anything else because the recipes in here overtake the table decor ideas and presentations for some of the recipes. This book stops just short of wardrobe, covering how to get that festive look for any occasion. But here for the tailgate, we have hot spiced tea and cherry hand pies. Um, if you like a 4th of July pool party, if you like a, a picnic, if you like a wine tasting party like we have here, if you like movie night, uh, Easter egg hunt, all of those and much, much more you'll find in here. Along with each season, we also have a menu with several recipes tailored to that season. I'm going to highlight a few from the fall menu which you can find at the end of this book. So here we have a charcuterie platter. Turn a few pages over and uh, we bring you skillet cheddar dill cornbread, smoked brisket chili which utilizes the smoked cheddar dill cornbread. Two for one. Uh, this is not a part of the fall dinner menu, but you know what? Pomegranate Thai chicken enchiladas. I guess that would be suited for fall, too. And finally, chocolate hazelnut brownies with pretzel graham cracker crust. Definitely fall inspired. Now, if that doesn't encourage you to fall for Katie and her talent, I don't know what will. But hey. This really is an all-season entertaining book that you can use to your heart's content, and your guests will be mighty thankful for it. 
So, table of contents, spring parties, uh, summer parties, like, uh, breakfast in bed, bride to brunch, hostess baskets, the breakout parties in here are those that you could do on a last minute thing. So that way, uh, your party will go off without a hitch, no matter how last minute it is. For fall and winter, well, we already highlighted fall, but we also have a pie party for fall and a harvest picnic. For winter, gingerbread home decorating parties and a whiskey tasting and cookies and cocktails. Again, more recipes in here than there are decor ideas, that there are furniture ideas, that there are world of ideas, so on and so forth. But there's plenty of those in here too. So, this is definitely more of a cookbook, and I can certainly appreciate that because, well, Katie's talents in the kitchen, they're all there, and they're all in here. Oh, it's, what is also palpable is her appreciation for the followers and visitors of Styling My Every Day. They are acknowledged in the acknowledgement section, which gives Katie the edge. Now, anyone who is a lifestyle blogger, not an influencer, should damn well know that without their followers, they wouldn't have the opportunity to publish awesome books like this, let alone publish any article whatsoever on their website. And Katie knows that to a T. Look at this. To all of my stylingmyeveryday.com followers, you are the reason I created this year. Encouragement and constant support means so much. I probably highlighted one more recipe than I needed to in the fall menu, but hey, anytime you get a menu, uh, some menu samples, in the back of a book like this, it makes my job easier to highlight the recipes in here because again, this is more of a cookbook than anything else. You get spring, summer, and winter menus too. Celebrations that sow your love. Create meaningful, extraordinary celebrations that foster lifelong memories with the ones you love. I'm not gonna read this wholesale. Instead, I'm just going to say, Katie, this book truly is something to celebrate. It retails for $29.99 in the U.S. and $36.99 in Canada. And for its internal colorfulness and cheapness, I award it 5 out of 5 claps. In addition to you acknowledging the followers of your website. Which is so important. This is pretty awesome in pink. One final note about this book. This was published way before the COVID-19 pandemic began, so you're gonna have to adjust accordingly de depending on how many guests you have and any of our parties featured in here. Keep masks and social distancing and safety on the forefront, and that way you'll have a party that will make everybody blush pink when they depart. Kiss me, Kate. You've done a good job. Thanks for watching the thrift store one down and the Romero Roundup. And I want to advise you that there will be more TR segments in the future whenever new reviews by me and new vlogs by David warrant TRR to return to TSR. But until then, we toss it over to David for the last time, for now, as he and his family members demonstrate what party animals they really are. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you on the flip side. This is a birthday party for George's 8th birthday from May 24th, 2005. May 25th. Birthday. <laughs> Taking pictures.
the funny face donut. And I'm gonna eat it. Me too. Funny faces. Ah, don't eat me. I'm, you ate half of my. Nothing. Yeah. I need the heart. I need the heart. I need the heart. Excuse me. Excuse me. Happy birthday. I don't think so.